welcome back to an Asian blogger and in this video I want to show you how you can put images on text in GIMP. So putting images on text is a pretty common feature and it is actually super easy to do that kind of stuff in GIMP. So without further delay let's get started. Now as you can see I've already imported four demo images in the GIMP editor. So this is my first image, this is my second image, this is my third image and finally this is my fourth image so first of all let's just create a new transparent image so let me just go to file and click on new let the width of my new transparent image be 1920 and the height be 1080 and inside advanced options let me select transparency in the fill width and click on OK. So as you can see, I've successfully created my transparent image with the dimensions 1920 by 1080. So let me just zoom out my image a little bit. Perfect. Now the next thing which you need to do is add some text on top of your transparent image. So let me just select the text tool from the toolbox and let me just write the text or write some text on top of my transparent image. So let me just write the text, let's say GIMP and let me just change the font to Times New Roman Bold as well as let me just change the font size to 600. Let's also change the font color to white. Perfect. Let's just center align my text a little bit. Perfect. Now the next thing which you need to do is create a duplicate of this text layer. So click on this text layer and click on this option right here which says create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image. The moment you click on this option a new duplicate text layer will be created. So click on this new duplicate text layer and um, change the text color from white to black. So my original text layer had the text color white. My duplicate text layer had the text color black and now go to filters blur Gaussian blur and set the size X and the size Y to somewhere around maybe 22.94 and click on OK. Now drag the duplicate text layer below the main text layer. Perfect. Now what you need to do is start copy pasting the four images in this particular image on top of your transparent image. So let me just first of all um, go to this image right here and let me just click on edit and click on copy. Now let's go back to our transparent image and click on edit and click on paste as new layer. Perfect. Now let me just use the move tool to properly position my image like this. Perfect. Now let me just select the rectangle select tool to remove the part which is not needed. So let me just select this portion right here and let me just right click and uh, go to select and click on float. Perfect. Um, now right click on the floating selection right here and select to new layer. Now delete, click on this image layer, right click and click on delete layer. Perfect. Now place the floated layer right at the top and inside mode currently normal is selected so change that to 
multiply perfect now let's go back to our second image which is this one of, of billy eilish so let me just click on edit copy let's go back to our transparent image edit paste as new layer uh, let me just place this right here so that I get a proper view of where I want to place my second image. Um, okay, I want this image on M because this image is a little bit bigger. So I want it to appear right here on my third text. And... Uh, Perfect. This looks fine. So let me just now go to the rectangle select tool and remove the portion which I don't need. So select the portion like this. Right click, go to select and select float. Now right click on the floating selection and click on to new layer. Now delete the image as it is not needed. Now place this floated layer right at the top and inside mode select multiply. Perfect. Now let's go back to our third image which is this one and let me just click on edit copy go back to our transparent image edit paste as new layer Again, let's just bring down this new image below right here so that I get a proper view and uh, I can place it properly. So let me just, okay, let's just first of all turn the visibility off of this two layers right here. Perfect. Now let me just place this image right here. right here perfect now um, again click on the rectangle select tool and um, properly select the portion which you need like this then right click go to select and float then right click on the floating selection right here and select to new layer now delete this main image because it is not needed and place this floated layer right at the top and click on mode and select multiply. So this is how our, our uh, final output is looking right now. So we need to import our final image. So let me just go back to this image right here go to edit select copy then let's go back to our transparent image go to edit paste as new layer and uh, let's just drag this right here below so that i can properly place it inside the p letter which is present right here like this perfect now let's just select the rectangle select tool and let me just properly select the portion which i need then right click go to select float right click on the floating selection to new layer and now delete the main image because it is not needed so place this floated layer again right at the top so this is how our output is looking now right click on the uh, floated layer at the top and um, select this option right here which says merge down and then again right click on the floated layer at the top 
and click on this option which says merge down and again right click on the layer on the top and select merge down perfect now there is just one floated layer and the mode is currently set to normal so click on this mode option right here and select multiply perfect now right click on the floated layer and again select merge down and click on this background layer and uh, go to edit and select fill with background color which is currently set to white so that's it guys this is how you can actually um, put images on text or inside text in GIMP. Do share with me your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.